Good morning, everybody. It's day 52 out and about on the Appalachian Trail. Um, I slept okay last night being all alone. Um, honestly, I couldn't fall asleep, but it wasn't out of fear. It was just like an issue of not being tired enough. And then I woke up about three separate times where I heard... It's like you hear animals like loudly out there and then you don't know what it could be. It could be a really a couple squirrels. It could be a couple deer. It could be a bear. You have no idea. And so you just kind of laid there. I was so tired. I didn't like make any noise or anything really. But I knew I was so confident. I'm like nothing in my tent smells like everything that has a scent I hung up. You know, just like I was really careful. So, but it still wasn't a uh, night of sleep. So we've got not sure on the plans today. There's some mountain in like 18 miles that sounded like there may be some cool stealth site views. Otherwise, there was a little campsite in about 19 miles near a road. And then that would leave me with like 14, 13 or 14 into... Parisburg, which is ideal. So kind of having a shorter day tomorrow. So I'll keep you updated. It's about 6.35. I'm going to eat some breakfast here, pack up, and head out. All right. It's going to be another warm one today. I was, I had my mid-layer off tank top on before my first mile was even done. <laughs> um, it is snack time. We're doing a fig bar. We are actually gonna have a waterfall today. So it's a little side trail off of the main trail to get there. So I will be taking that, I'm excited. It's called Dismal Falls. Honestly, it's so funny that I'm getting there today when the last two days I've just been like dreaming of walking into water and bathing in it because I was, because I was so hot the last two days. Didn't see anything like that in the last two days. And now today, it is still hot, but it's going to be kind of early to just go swimming. I don't know. We'll see. It's just been such a beautiful, lush, green day. It's been so nice. Beautiful bird sounds. Chipmunks are everywhere. We can kind of see over to the other side of that valley. We've got just so much color. It's so beautiful. All right. Still about two miles short of the falls, but looks like we're coming up on this really cool suspension bridge. Oh my gosh. It's like really intense looking. Wow. Wow. So oh, cool, that's huge. Sounds like this leads into, goes by a lot of farms, this river. So they say don't drink from it. It's pretty darn cute though. I'm guessing the waterfall will come up here. Going down to Dismal Falls. Honestly, Comment said 0.1 miles. This is definitely more than that. But I hear you here, it's worth it. I'm excited. All right, made it to Dismal Falls. So funny. In everyone's videos in the past, I'm so used to seeing like so many people here. We have like four of us. Go swimming. Probably won't. Just had lunch. I seriously cannot believe that there's like nobody here. This is so funny. 
so beautiful. I'm too much of a baby to jump in, but I might put my feet in. All right, so Dismal Falls is done. It was really nice. It's so funny. I just like, I don't know, if you guys watch YouTube videos of people hiking AT, you see their videos of that spot and it's like 30 people swimming, like having a great time. It was just like a couple of us like quietly eating lunch, just really soaking in. It made me feel like home so much. We have so much of that up North Minnesota. Just like beautiful little day hikes into waterfall. Um, but when I was there, I ran into a couple friends, three people who are all staying at Woods Hole Hostel tonight. And I've heard amazing things um, from people who through hiked last year. And so I wasn't gonna stay because I was gonna hike on to Parisburg, but it was about 13 and a half miles from the Dismal Falls and it's only about 11.30. So I just texted them and I said, hey, because I don't know, it's when you have a chance to hang out with these people who you know and you've gotten to know and really like um, and you haven't seen for a while, it's actually it, just knowing they're going to be there and knowing we could spend like a night together. It's just like, it's, it's a fun idea. So anyways, text them. They do have room left in like some private safari tent or something. I don't know. It'll be very interesting. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> I cannot wait. Got quite a few tent spots around here. We just got like a cutie little pond. So nice. One view for the whole day, pretty much. I know. I wonder what that what that is like though, because it sounded really hard. Wow. All right, we I only love... have a half a mile into the road, um, but I just want to say that this last seven miles of this section, uh, from about mile six eighteen to mile like six twenty five, it's like one view, no water. Honestly, way more elevation than I thought it was going to be, and so I was just like oof, huffing and puffing. And then when you're going down, it's just really rocky and my ankles are twisting and I'm just frustrated. Like it's just one of those stretches where I just cannot wait for it to be over. And it's so close to being over. And the closer I get to the road, I'm sure the less rocky it'll be, hopefully. But my goodness, I'm really watching all my steps. So yeah, half a mile to the road and then a half a mile to the hostel. I'm gonna get there right before they're serving dinner. So we'll see if I can sneak in. I'm like, I cannot suffer in this attire. Uh, they would not be happy. My other guests at the dinner would be very upset with this stench. I mean, it's Wednesday and I did technically shower Sunday morning. So it actually hasn't been that long. <laughs> trail days wise so all right I'm gonna let you go because I just need to book it through here I'm just I'm I mean as you can tell this is about the angriest I can get but yeah it's angry <laughs> I'm so glad that this hostel I decided to stay here I just feel like mentally as <laughs> Ooh, that bug just went in my ear. Mentally, it's just going to be really good. So, yay for me. And yay for Woods Hole Hostel. And yay for almost being there. <sighs> okay, I'll talk to you guys soon. Hallelujah, I am on a road. So close, so happy. I'll be there shortly. Power guys, say hi. Here. Yeah, just power everything. Monarch. Yeah. Oh, hey. Stan, say hi. Hey. Hello. Now you're on my video. You're insanely jealous of your <laughs> yes. room. That my you little. Just missed out on. I unfortunately like took this from them. So timing. <laughs> but yeah, so we're staying in the safari. Well, I am staying in this two bed <laughs> safari. <laughs> yeah. And they're I'll staying on my porch. <laughs> 
It'll be a good I one. I will totally sleep on your porch. I know, it's yeah, a nice. Geez. We have a little view of the Porto Potty. and uh, <laughs> It's a cute outhouse. It's a cute outhouse. It is. A cute view of the Porto Potty. It actually potty. is a cute outhouse. It is. I all right, I'm also gonna stick this video in. It's the next day, but I'm sticking it in for yesterday because when I went to pay for my room, turns out that there was somebody who had paid for it. Not because it was me, just because he wanted to pay it forward to another hiker. Um, his name is Rob G. And I got his email, so I'll be thanking him personally if you're watching this thank you so much um he was actually going to be staying there his plans fell through he still paid for that room so last night got my own little trail magic which was incredible so that room was comped and then i saw this morning which technically the next day um but i'm gonna like i said put this in yesterday's video I saw today when I was checking out that there was a little box that you could put money for hikers, you know, on a budget and that fund can go to somebody else. So I paid it forward, tried to put some money in there, tipped out the workers, tried to kind of pay it forward a little bit, but thank you, Rob, just such a blessing and I did not take it for granted. So. Yes, very happy. All right, that's a wrap. Day 52, I'm in bed. Did my laundry, it's over there, folded. Um, just me in here, have a private room tonight. So it's really great. I'm just gonna run to the bathroom really quick before I'm ready to fall asleep and then I'm out. It's about 9.30, it's late for me. But we'll give you some views of the hostel and breakfast and everything in the morning. We'll see you then. Good night.